very very good morning and a warm welcome to each and everyone present in this hall for the grand celebrations of the 40th foundation day of the national academy of agricultural research management uh, it's a proud moment for all of us and we would uh, request uh, our chief guest swami biti harananda ji to initiate the program by lighting the lamp Uh, I would request uh, Dr. Raghavendra Rao and his group to start with invocation song. Thank you. Jaya Jaya He Bhagavati Sura Bharati Tava Charano Pranamama Jaya Jaya He Bhagavati Sura Bharati Tava Charano Pranamama नाद ब्रह्मामय जय बागेश्वरी नाद ब्रह्मामय जय बागेश्वरी शरणम् ते गच्छामा On this important day, I request Dr. Kalpana Shastri, our joint director, to welcome the gathering here. and also to give you a brief detail on the various activities and achievements of the academy i extend a very warm welcome to all of you and thank you for joining us on this joyous occasion of the 40th foundation day a very special welcome to our chief guest and i now request our director dr ramar rao to extend a floral bouquet to our chief guest See in this beautiful city of Hyderabad on September 1st 1976 initially as a central staff college of agriculture it was mandated primarily to impart foundation training to all the new entrants of the agriculture research service of ICR Looking back at these 40 years we stand here with the pride and satisfaction of being able to serve the nation I would like to take the permission to announce the awards the category which the first category is administrative personnel category the best worker for the year 2015 is Mr T Srinivas In the category of technical personnel the best worker award for the year 2015 is awarded to Mr R Sivaprasad For the category of skill supporting staff category The best worker award for the year 2015 is awarded to Sri Kasyam Satyanarayana. In the TS worker category for female, Srimati M Sarada is awarded for the best worker in the for the year 2015. Sri D Ramalu is awarded the award for the year 2015. Today we are very happy to announce that we are going to release two publications uh, which have been brought out in the very recent past. Uh, one is uh, Narm at a glance, other is the handbook of the foundation course.
I request uh, our chief guest, Swami Bithihar Anandaraji, to address the gathering and deliver his um, uh, Foundation Day lecture. Today, I am also very glad to be a part, maybe smallest part, of the celebration of this great institution, 40th year it is entering into. And so many activities are going on. There's no end to that. And so many giants have been produced to serve the country on national level. So that is very important, to keep the nation in our mind. Always analyzation should be there. Whenever any work is done, whenever any thought comes, we need to check that thought. And only when we work with this kind of thought, that without expecting anything, I am to do, I am supposed to do this work, I will do this work and finish it off. When we, this attitude is developed, all of a sudden we cannot develop this attitude. But we have to start from somewhere. If we start, then slowly we grow with that attitude. And what is the result? We become meticulous. We become systematic. We become fully concentrated. We try so many methods to concentrate our mind. But these are the simple methods. Work for work's sake. Whatever work is given, without any exp expectation, just do that work. So that is a, one of the aspects of concentration. I would like to quote one Swamiji's very quote. So when we, we sp spoke about learning, we discussed about knowledge and all these things. So with consciously when we work, then we become conscious of ourselves. We become aware of ourselves. That's what Swami Vivekananda says. He says, teach yourself. Teach everyone his real nature. Call upon the sleeping soul. Sleeping soul means ignorant soul. Call upon the sleeping soul and see how it awakes. Glory will come. Goodness will come. Power will come, purity will come, and everything that is excellent will come when this sleeping soul is roused to self-conscious activity. That means when we become conscious of our activity, then everything will come. We need not bring. Will come, he says. May, may come, nay. Will come, definitely will come. When we are consciously working, purity will come, goodness will come, everything that is excellent will come, power will come glory will come. So we need not struggle for that. Only we have to follow that our mind, trained, well-trained mind. So I am very thankful to the organizers, very well-organized program, very methodical, very well in advanced. We got the intimation and uh, really I am very happy the kind of the style of the, uh, their work, very methodical. So. On this auspicious occasion, I wish all of you all great success and wish you all the best. And this institute should see many more years in future. That wish, that pray, I pray to Lord and in my talk. Thank you all. Now, when we speak of happiness, happiness is not a destination. It's a state of mind. You know, Swamiji repeatedly mentioned that. Now, along the journey of life, now research has shown convincingly that 50% of the happiness comes from your genetic origin, where you are. But the other 50% comes from your environment, your society. Now, that is where we come into the picture. As each individual have to do that, and each one of us can create that type of ambience in the organization where we can make others to be happy. So that's where it's a central point that one is that you need to have a personal discipline, but at the same time we need to have a consciousness towards making organization happy. So at, on this occasion, I urge all my colleagues in the academy and also my colleagues from the other sister institutions, let's build a very happy institutions to begin with make people happy, let them work. As Swamiji said, that work is worship. If we can make it, and to my colleagues, my RVS Rao has very nicely told in Telugu, panilo santosham, panilo anandam, right? 
వాట్ ఎల్స్ నో ఇలాంటి ఆనందంగా ఉన్న వ్యవస్థే సంతోషంగా ఉంటుంది అదే ఉన్నత శిఖరాలు చేరగలుగుతుంది ఇది నేను మా వెనక కూర్చున్న మా టెంపరీ వర్కర్స్కి మా ఆఫీస్లో ఉన్న స్టాఫ్కి అందరికీ విన్నవించేది లెట్స్ మేక్ ఎ వెరీ హెల్దీ అండ్ ఏ హ్యాపీ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఇన్ ద కమింగ్ ఇయర్స్ ఆన్ దిస్ అకేషన్ లెట్ ఇస్ వన్స్ మోర్ రిజాల్వ్ దట్ వీ విల్ స్ట్రైవ్ ఫర్ పర్ఫెక్షన్ ఇన్ ఆల్ అవర్ ఎండివర్స్ అండ్ కంటిన్యూ టు వర్క్ ఫర్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ క్వాలిటీ సర్వీసెస్ టు ద నేషన్ నవ్ దట్ వుడ్ బీ అవర్ కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్ టు మేక్ ఎ ప్రోగ్రెసివ్ అండ్ మోడర్ మోడర్న్ అండ్ ప్రాస్పరస్ ఇండియా ఐ ఆమ్ ష్యూర్ దట్ టుగెదర్ వీ విల్ డూ జస్ట్ దట్ ఐ ఆమ్ ఇమెన్స్లీ బెనిఫిటెడ్ బై స్వామీజీస్ kind words that's uh, giving a kind of a future direction on to our conduct in the office outside the office in the society as a good citizen i wish all of you agree with me and i once again compliment all of you on the this 40th foundation day of this academy thank you one and all I would like to sincerely thank uh, Swami Bithihar Ananda Ji. Uh, Swami Ji, your coming has added a lot of value to this uh, event. Uh, we are very happy. Our head of the system is extremely happy. Our DG is very happy that uh, we have invited you from Ramakrishna Mutt for this occasion. I think it is my sincere duty to place on record our thanks to each and every one of them. And I would also like to thank um, the scientist trainees of the 102nd Foundation course, the students of the PGDMA program, and each and every employee of the NARM family who have been always with us in supporting and for being present here. I would like to thank everyone. If I have missed somebody, yes, it is just out of uh, um, remembrance. Thank you all very much.